Here is a quick overview of the Hertzsprung-Russell diagram. It summarizes the properties of stars. It is constructed with luminosity versus temperature. It is up to the reader to look up the more historic spectral class versus absolute magnitude construction. In summary, luminosity, the total power output of a star, is on the vertical axis. Stars at the bottom of this diagram are faint. Stars at the top of the diagram are very luminous. The horizontal axis is temperature. In this diagram, hot stars are on the left. Cool stars are on the right. There are three general groups represented in the diagram. The main sequence is a continuous band running from hot and luminous stars all the way to cool and dim stars. Red giants are cool but very luminous. White dwarfs are hot but very dim. Our sun is a main sequence star that is medium brightness and medium temperature. Size is not directly represented in the diagram, nor is mass. The smallest stars are the white dwarfs. On the main sequence, the smallest stars are the red dwarfs, bigger or yellow dwarfs, like our sun. The biggest main sequence stars are blue giants. This also correlates just on the main sequence with their mass. Red dwarfs are low mass and blue giants are the most massive. Red giants are the largest stars by size, but not necessarily by mass. They are larger than blue giants in size. However, their progenitor might be a yellow dwarf.